The other day on Twitter I saw that Rakita from A Nerd in Translation was talking about doing a 30 day book challenge and so I spoke to her and we're kind of making it thing. Hey guys, it's Amy here and today I am going to be going through my 30 day book challenge books for you and showing you what I'm going to be reading over the next 30 days. So just to clear some things up, I won't be reading a book per day over the 30 day challenge. Reasons for this would be because most of my books that I have are over 400 pages long. I honestly don't think I'm going to have time to read over 400 page books per day. So instead of reading a certain number of books, I am instead going to be reading a certain number of pages. Over the course of the 30 days, I hope to read 6,000 pages. So I have collected together a group of books and added up all the pages together and all together they add up to just about 6,000 pages. I've it all out and I've made lists and so now I'm going to show you what books I'm going to be reading over the next 30 days. The first book I'm going to be reading is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. This is 218 pages long so it's one of the shortest ones that I've chosen for this month. I'm really looking forward to reading this book after seeing the film so maybe once I've read it I might do a book to movie comparison video. The second book I shall be reading is The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepherd, and this is 358 pages long and it brings the total up to 576 so far. This was sent to me by HarperCollins and I'm really looking forward to reading it. A lot of people have recommended this one to me. The number three is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funke, I think. After doing my previous haul video, a lot of people were raving about this book. They were saying how amazing it is, so I couldn't help but put it in this challenge video. This clocks in at 543 pages and brings our total to 1,119 altogether so far. The fourth book on my list is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I wanted to get through some of the classics that I haven't read and this is a really nice Penguin English Library edition. This is another one of the shortest books I have chosen for the month. It's only 230 pages long and it brings our total to 1,349. Book number five on the list is The Book Thief by Marcus Souza. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. So many people rave about it and I've had it on my shelf for about four years so I can't wait to actually read this one. The age count for this one is 554 and it brings the total amount to 1,903 pages. Book number six would be Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and I've had this book for quite a while as well and I really love Daniel Handler's Lemony Snicket books so I'm quite looking forward to getting into this one. It also has some really beautiful illustrations inside. This is at 354 pages and brings our total to 2,257 pages so far. Book number seven is one I'm particularly excited about because so many people talk about it and I really need to get into it because it seems like such a massive franchise to be part of and it is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Now this is a hefty book so you can see why I didn't want to do a book a day challenge because I don't think I'd be able to read this in a day. This clocks in at 780 pages and brings our total to 3037 pages so far. Number eight is Countdown City by Ben H. Winters. This is the second in the pre-apocalyptic novel series by Ben H. Winters. I was sent this by Quirk Books and the first one was The Last Policeman. I really enjoyed it so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next in the series. This is 316 pages long and brings our total to 3353 pages. Book number nine on my list is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I've also had this book for quite a while. It's a series I'm really looking forward to starting and as the film's coming out soon I thought I may as well bring it into this challenge. Page count for this one is 442 pages and brings our total to 3,795. Book number 10 is another classic and it is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I've been meaning to read this for such a long time and I'm not sure if I ever read it when I was younger. I seem to remember reading it but I can't remember any of the details or like the actual story itself so I'm quite looking forward to reading it. Another short book at 243 pages and it brings our total to 4,038 pages. Book number 11 is another series that I've been meaning to finish which I haven't done and it is Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. I've read the first and second in the Chaos Walking series, never got around to reading the third so I think it's about time that I finish it. I can't wait to read it, I really love this series so far, I don't know why it's taken me so long to read. The second longest book in this 30 day challenge at 603 pages and brings our total to 4,641 pages so far. The 12th book on my list is The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. This is my book club book of the month so it obviously it had to be in this 30 day challenge. It's a book I've been meaning to read for a while and it's been on my wish list for quite a few years now so I'm really looking forward to reading it. It clocks in at 272 pages and brings our total to 4,915 pages. The penultimate and 14th book on my list would be Shift by Hugh Howey. 
This is the second book in the adult dystopian series from Hugh Howie. The third is coming out later on this year and it's called Dust, so I can't wait to read this one. 569 pages long and it brings our total to 5,482 pages. The final book I plan to read this month is Wild Girl by Kate Forsyth. I don't have it with me just yet because the publishers are sending it to me. From what I've read it's a historical fiction based around the lives of the Brothers Grimm and I really love the fairy tales from the Brothers Grimm and that book clocks in at 538 pages. Together, if my calculations are correct, which they probably aren't, like one of you is probably gonna count up and be like, you've miscounted terribly. Hopefully, if I haven't got it wrong, it should all come to 6,020 pages. The extra 20 pages, I'm sure I can manage. So this is where you come in. I want to know if any of you would like to join me in this challenge. If you do, let me know, and you can follow me on Twitter, and we can tweet and encourage each other. We've also decided on the hashtag 30 day read. So if you're on Twitter, then hashtag that, and we'll be able to read your tweets. Other booktubers that I know of that are doing it so far are Rakita from Nerd and Translation, obviously, she's the one who started it, Susie from Read Susie Read, and Jean from Bookish Thoughts. You should go and follow them all. I'll leave all the links down below. Feel free to add me on Goodreads if you want to follow my progress or if you want to encourage me. It's always good to have encouragement in these things. We start this Monday, which is the 17th of June, and by my calculations, I think we should be ending on the 16th of July, which is a Tuesday next month. So I'll leave all my links down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I shall see you soon. Bye! On the front of this one it describes it as what would happen if Harry Potter grew up to join the police, which just seems really cool. It's, it's about a detective who meets wizards and things like that, so I think I'm really going to enjoy